perfect. So as you head outside, looking at a little bit of fog, it's not causing too many issues out there, but I'm showing this one again, this camera again, because you can kind of see how the fog is developing a little bit as you can still see the Crescent City connection. All right, as far as that dense fog advisory goes, that is in effect for all of Southeast Louisiana until 10 a.m. So expect fog to get a little worse in some spots to temporarily get better, then it'll get worse. So we'll be watching that for you. That's pretty much what I've been seeing. Still not looking too great over in Baton Rouge, but for us, we're looking at about five to 10 miles of visibility. So okay in the central portion, but looking at uh, Homa, four miles of Bogalus, also looking at four miles. So we'll be watching this very closely. So just a heads up as you're heading outside for today. Here's a look at the temperatures though across the region not looking as cold as yesterday. Yesterday morning we're into the 30s over in Texas, but uh, now you can see that has warmed up quite a bit. So today will be a warmer day. Your current temperatures as you head outside, looking at the 50s on the North Shore, the 60s on the South Shore. So this is mild compared to what we will be seeing in about a week from now. All right, so as we go throughout the day or throughout your morning, expect to see mostly cloudy skies at first, and then eventually we'll start to see some clearing. So the sun will shine a little more than yesterday. We do have chances for rain today, not over overly power overpowering uh, chances of rain. We are looking at a little bit of rain moving through for us. Here's 4 p.m. Just a couple of isolated showers getting to 6 p.m. Along the edges, Boothville likely going to be one of the last ones to see some rain for today. So not looking at the greatest of chances. Got about a 20% chance for you. Highs for today, a little bit warmer than yesterday. Looking at the mid 70s for us. We're still above average. So yes, we are heating up a little today. Then for tomorrow, we're looking at the threat for some severe weather. It's level one, so here's the timing of all of it. We're watching this front as it moves through this front, though. Back behind it will be some much cooler air, so if you're ready for a seasonal change, we got that coming. So here's 6 a.m. Most of us will be fine if you're leaving out that early, or maybe you still have to work tomorrow morning. Uh, here's 9 a.m. You can see just on up to the north, just to the north of us. Probably some better organization, but for the rest of us, we're looking at some isolated showers. It will start to get organized or heavy downpours once we get to 10 a.m. A lot of this is going to move through very quickly, so not expecting flooding to uh, be an impact. But while we are looking at the possibility of some damaging winds, could even see some hail with some of this too. And then by the time we get to the evening hours, a lot of that will start to move out of the area. We could see a few leftover showers once we do get to Thursday evening, but then after that, though, we're good to go. Things are clearing out and it's going to be chilly after that. So as far as that cold air, that will start to push down for us as we're heading into the next couple of days. So we will be in that chill, but then we're going to warm up temporarily just a little bit before we cool right back down, but it's not going to be like a great warm up. We're not talking about being back into the 80s at all. Here's a look at the rest of your WDSU first warning seven day forecast. So if you're heading out and about for Thanksgiving for tomorrow, maybe you're going to the parade. Bayou Classic Parade, not looking too bad. May see a couple showers to begin with, but then uh, looking ahead to Monday, it's an impact day because of the cold temperatures, especially though as we get down. But Brandy, I'm looking behind you. It is looking very foggy now.